Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own macro bean bag. Just like this, for a couple of pounds, and how we can help you with your macro photography. So stay tuned. Hello my friends, welcome back, I'm Leo. Thank you ever so much for joining me on my channel today. Today, like I said, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own macro bean bag. A couple of pounds, and it can be made in seconds. And the best about this is can, it can help your photography in a big way. When you're struggling to put your camera down and you don't want to put your camera down on the ground when it's damp and wet and you've got a tiny little bit of fungus on a tree and you can't get under it, but you can get your camera, if you had a beanbag, you can put your camera under, use the beanbag, put it underneath it, put your camera on to stabilise it, set your two minute timer, get it all set up, live view, two second timer, bump. Got your shot. Your camera's still in one piece. Now damp's getting up underneath your camera. Ideal. Or how about if you, you, you're walking in the countryside, you're on a brick wall, and you see some a nice little wallflower, instead of trying to get in and you, you can't point get it round, drop your, micro, drop your bean bag on the top, level it up, bump, you got it. So today I'm gonna show you how to make one. It's quite easy, quite simple. And when I mean it's going to be quick, it's going to be quick. This, all this is, is a pencil case. A pencil case that I bought, yet again, from Poundland. And this is not sponsored by Poundland, by the way. And it's a all this is, it's what the kids use, put the, uh, the children use to put the odds and in. Now, women could probably use these as makeup bags or something. Done. So what have I got? I've got some wild bird seeds. Does that tell anything? But if you haven't got wild bird seeds, you can put rice in there dried lentils in there, or you can even, if you've got any little polystyrene balls, put your polystyrene balls in to make it a bit lighter. And it's a simple case of just putting your seed in there, like that. Zipping it up. And you're done. And that's how easy it is. Two pounds, that's less over a pound, Pound for a bag of wild bird seed, and if you're out, you can always feed the birds while you're out. If you go out, you can always fold the pencil case up, put it in your camera bag. If there's any grass or hay lying about, put some grass or hay in the bag, and it'll just do the same job. And the ideal about this, the, like I say, the best thing about this is, if I want to, if I see some moss, or I see, like I say, a, a small piece of fungus on a tree, all I've got to do, <coughs> 750 D, Get my camera out, get the flip, get the flip out, put my live view, get it like perfect. I'm underneath the subject, I can focus on, get it all focused perfect, two second timer, got the shot, I'm up with, my camera is not on the deck, it's not in any mud, you know, it, 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 it's done. You're going to the side of a lake and you want to get a picture of those midges running along or you want to get a bit of video of it. Perfect, just put it down. Lens is not going to touch the water, it's perfect, it's just there, it's on the edge of the water. Yet again, we're going to set it all up. Two second timer. Perfectly still, and you're away, you're taking your shots. And this is brilliant. It's like I say, brick wall, put it on a brick wall. Put it down, in we go. Boom, done. And this is, can be better than a tripod. You know, I, I don't use a tripod very often, but what I do do is I take one of these with me because there's sometimes where I need to freeze, I need it to be dead still if I'm doing a bit longer exposure. So this beats carrying a big tripod round and not being hard to get round. So this helps me. So I thought you'd enjoy that one. Bit of a quick one, like I said. If somebody uses it, I'll be happy. If somebody, you know, that, that's me. So if you've enjoyed it, Please give me a like and if you've got any comments, in the comment box below. And if you want me to make any videos or anything, let me know. Please, please, please. I can't keep making videos if people don't give me some inspiration on what to do. I can't, but I need a few people to give me some ideas. I'll put a poll up and then whatever idea it is, done. I am working on a live stream, as you can see. I've got my webcam here, ready. <coughs> so that'll be coming up soon, where me and Stuart will probably be going head to head. <laughs> so, <laughs> you'll, you'll probably enjoy that one. I hope you're all keeping safe and I hope you're all look, looking after yourself. 
Thank you once again. Thank you for getting to the end of my video. I do appreciate it. And until next time, stay safe and happy snapping.